Hello everyone, welcome back to Piedra Designs. This week I've got a piece of pinion. This particular section was two different limbs and it's got some weird growth going on here. I do have another piece uh, that is a whole lot more of the weird growth. We've got a lot of uh, pine beetle stuff going on over here in this area. So probably about that much of this piece isn't going to be any good for turning short of stabilizing or casting with resin. I've got a couple of ideas. I've thought about maybe cutting this down through here and maybe doing like a winged bowl with this area here as a high point and this limb as a high point. I thought about maybe cutting it this way and doing a little bit more of an end grain type turning. I thought about cutting it in half this way and getting two crotch pieces out of it but again with the beetle infested areas over here I don't think those would be very big. This piece measures just a hair over 18 inches this way as the camera's facing it from front to back is about 13 inches and it's around 12 inches tall. So I'm going to get it outside, think on it a little bit more and uh, when I make a decision do a little chainsaw work and get it down to what I want to work with and when we come back we'll have whatever cut mounted up on the lathe. All right so I did go ahead and cut this across the two limbs so we can get two crotch pieces. Uh, I think we can get pretty close to nine inch bowl out of that and with a little luck uh, even with that nine inches we can leave maybe a little bit of this live edge or natural edge. I don't know. Um, there's a pretty good crack that runs around this limb. So I don't know how well that's going to stay together. We may end up having to put some CA glue in this. I've got this mounted up on a face plate and my chainsaw work wasn't the greatest so it's not super flat. I've got a little bit of a wedge under one side of the face plate but I've uh, I'm using all of the holes in the face plate so there's 12 screws in this holding it on right now. Got the grub screws locked down onto the spindle. The only thing for safety I can't do just yet is bring up the tail stock. My, the quill just isn't long enough by the time the tail stock hits up against the banjo here. Um, I can't get the quill extended far enough. So the very first thing I'm going to do is take off, focus on taking off this part here so that we can move the banjo over and get the tail stock up for a little bit of support while we then work on the rest of the shape. Because this thing is so out of balance, uh, we're only able to start turning at about 330 RPMs.
All right, we got it done. Here is our pinion bowl, pinion crotch bowl. We came out at a, right at nine inches in diameter like I was hoping for. We're about two and three eighths inches tall. Uh, we've got see there isn't much of it left but there's the growth rings for one of the limbs and there's the growth rings for the other limb uh, the pith did end up staying with that limb so that may crack some more um, we've got a lot of pine beetle damage and most of those were filled with I don't know if it's their, the pine beetle waste or a byproduct from them eating or uh, what exactly it is. Uh, but there was a lot of it in there and the pine resin from this uh, pinion had soaked into a lot of that and made it really hard. I got most of it dug out uh, some of it is still in there. We've got this one little knot here. And it's kind of loose. So that may end up falling out, but that's okay. That'll just fit right in with the rest of the bowl. I'm, I'm very pleased with this. I wasn't sure it was going to hold together. 
but it did. This one little section right here is loose. That crack is completely through the wall, so that's a little loose. But I, I don't think I could be much happier with how this came out. Um, because the, the only thing, the only thing that might have made it a little better was if the wood wasn't so filled with pine resin that I couldn't sand it. I only sand it up to 180 and about 20, 30 seconds with the piece of sandpaper and it was completely clogged. So I wasn't even going to bother trying to go up to the finer grits. They would have clogged even faster. Anyways, that's the video for this week. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Just drop me a comment below. Let me know why you didn't like it. If you haven't already done so, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit the little notification bell. That way you won't miss any of my future projects or fails. From Piedra Designs, thanks for watching.